What is going on guys? It's your boy Isaac Reed and we are breaking down this new gameplay trailer from Paul Heyman exclusive WWE 2K17 game mode my career be a Paul Heyman guy I just reacted to this now I'm gonna do a quick breakdown for you guys that haven't got a chance to see it or you want to know the aspects from this trailer now I have to put it I believe on uh, 1400 it's on 1400 though so that's pretty great that's great whatever so we gotta see what's going on. I, I I probably missed a lot of things, so we're gonna break it down. So let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Now let me skim through that because it's just it's just gonna take too long. All right, hold up real quick. So it got kind of a little iffy. So basically what you're doing, you're starting off your My Career the same way we did for about two years straight. You're starting off in NXT. But like Paul Heyman said, you can actually just forget about NXT and come straight to the main roster. But that will upset some other people. Like it might upset Triple H because Triple H actually owns NXT. So if Triple H sees that you just go straight to the main roster, he might be like, oh, you don't want to put an effort in. So uh, that's basically that basically sucks for people that actually just go straight to the main roster because I know there's going to be a lot of people that go straight to the main roster Guys like Finn. Uh, the performance center looks a lot better this year more rings right Kevin and Sammy they ran the same ropes you're running they did the same training that you are now look at these creative characters they're all the same I noticed that one look like John Cena one looks like I don't know one looks like the Miz and one just looks like a damn creative character um, really quick now let's go right here now this this was awesome like you walk by backstage and you see Triple H and he ignores you just because you came up to the main roster without going to NXT that is gonna make for some great storylines I have advocated for some that have upset WWE management in the past just like Stone Cold Steve Austin just like the Undertaker, just like Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. It all depends on how ambitious you are to maybe consider a future Paul. Now, this right here backstage is probably Paul Heyman talking to you, asking you want to join his uh. Be, his, be a Paul Heyman guy and you see that the guy actually shakes his hand and they probably join forces what Paul Heyman basically says throughout the video is that if you become a Paul Heyman guy you have to stick with him and does and do what Paul Heyman tells you if you do not do what Paul Heyman tells you you will be getting suplex city by Brock Lesnar so Brock Lesnar will destroy you unless you beat Brock Lesnar then maybe Paul Heyman has respect for you I'm not for sure Heyman yeah now, if you're ignorant enough to think this is going to be easy, eh, wrong answer. You're not the only one around. Okay, really quick, we get a we get a glimpse of Dolph Ziggler. Look at that hair, baby. It looks a lot better, ten times better. So you see the creative character walk by Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler gives the creative character stink attitude, maybe because the creative character joined Paul Heyman, so everybody turns on him. Now, in my opinion, if I do do in my career, I might. Go, I might be a Paul Heyman guy. I don't know what the aspects is for being a Paul Heyman guy. I would probably have to make a decision just when I play it, you know. Now that's Samoan Joe, though. I like the way the superstars when they work out, they have their act, they have actually like workout gear instead of their actual wrestling gear. I wonder if you can actually have your own workout gear and you can have your own wrestling gear and your interview gear. That that would that would be pretty cool. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Like, I'm looking really forward to seeing that. Has been. Oh, shit. So, you seen a scene earlier, right? So, when Dove Ziggler, when you walk by Dove Ziggler. So, you walk by Mark Henry as well. Mark Henry tries to shake your hand. You know, he tries to be nice. You know, a fellow, you know, citizen. You know, the fellow American that Mark Henry is. And you just shove him off. You know, you say, psych, you're good. Which is probably lead to a bigger rivalry between you and him. Maybe um, in the like, you know how in 16 where you had like heat for different people when you fought him, 
fault people that's probably what was going to happen with mark henry mark henry is going to be like you know what i don't like you anymore you know if i fight you i'm definitely going to pull some crazy stuff in the end maybe like a post-match breakout or an end match whatever happens man it's going to be a big issue now i noticed being a paul Heyman guy is going to be like a serious issue to the people that like want to really strive to like be great now this is now this part right here literally had me going insane so seth rollins literally this is what they talked about when they explained my career they did talk about when you're going to be doing interviews with renee young you will get attacked eventually from time to time and as you see so basically seth rollins attacks the creative character the creative character is down for the count seth rollins looks amazing man only problem i have is his hair so when he attacks you, what this could mean is that it ends up being a backstage brawl. Have you ever played SVR 2011? When you get when you're backstage and you have beef with somebody, you usually you usually start a fight backstage, and then at the, and then when somebody gets KO, that's when the fight ends. But if you listen to me, you will quickly learn. So this is what I was talking about a lot. Of, this is what I was talking about earlier. So if you listen to Paul Heyman, you have nothing to worry about. Your career will go fine. I just feel this is kind of be this is going to be kind of like when the authority tells you to do things during a match, and then if you fail it, you like get like heat with the authority. I don't know if this is going to be like what it was last year. I just hope that being a Paul Heyman guy is not too difficult, in my opinion, because I just don't want it to be so difficult that I would just like I want to leave, you know. Learn what it takes. To become a main event now this actually like the 2k15 john cena screenshot but only difference between 2k15 and that is just he's a lot you know better looking WWE superstar. You will learn how to sell merchandise. okay this is a big one so you actually sell merchandise this year so if you create a t-shirt that you're uh, officially gonna stick with you can sell that t-shirt you can sell the wristbands watches or whatever you feel you need to sell and you can make money off of it that is a big one we don't even have that in NBA 2k 2k games what happens is you get jersey sales but you don't get the sales from the jerseys like you don't get the money this is a big step in the WWE for like a creative character you will now t-shirt sales this is the same thing from what I said the merchandise so if your t-shirt sales go up then you get what 8,000 VC you know VC is always been a struggle to get in WWE games you barely get VC each match and you would get like what 400 VC or 300 VC it's been a lot it's been difficult so having actually selling merchandise they make and gain money will be a great thing for WWE games from the years to go by and this year's game. Royalty checks. You will learn how to deal with the authority. Now, when he says you have to deal with the authority, you will probably have to deal with the problems that you're gonna gain when you become a Paul Heyman guy. So let's say you go to Paul Heyman and you like become his friend and y'all, you know, do a duel together. Triple H might not even like that. Stephanie might not like it. Mr. Man not like it. So you might just have beef with the authority. But if you don't join Paul Heyman and you become an authority guy, then it might be a lot easier for you because you'll get handed a lot of things. But not everybody wants to get handed things. So you might just want to be a Paul Heyman guy. Or you just might want to just stick with your career, do your own thing. You, you know, it's whatever people feel. Uh, I don't know what I would do. You know, I'm just going to play straight through my career and whatever happens, happens. And you will learn how to deliver to me championships. I will teach you the art of the promo. So he said, before we get to the promo, he said you have to deliver him championships. So you have to win your matches. If you don't win championships, Paul Heyman gets mad. And that's when leads to Brock Lesnar coming out. I I can just see it right away. Yeah, what's gonna happen is uh, Brock Lesnar is gonna get I mean, Paul Heyman is gonna get pissed. He's like, you haven't brought me championships in these exactly months, so I'm gonna get my friend Brock Lesnar to finish you off. 
because you're officially not a Paul Heyman guy. I think that's what's going to happen. And I hope this is not a common problem with everybody's my career that they're getting attacked by Brock Lesnar just because they failed an objective. I think every my, everybody's my career should be a lot different and smoother. Now, the promo thing, you can actually hit promos this year. Let's go quickly by it. You will learn how to sway public opinion. Okay, Matt but Butcher, promo performance hardcore. This is a big one. So what's he saying? Is anyone else out there the battlefield as I am here? Not as a superstar, but I'm living legend game. Okay, so this is where he has to he has beef with Seth Rollins now. So whatever you say hinders what you are. Are you a heel or are you a face? If your promo's not heel, then I guess you're not heel. So you hit a promo, but you have to do your promo exactly good. Or Paul Heyman's going to be pissed. As you see, he said you got to hit your promos right. With the promo situation, maybe you can select what to say. I mean, I don't know what they're going to have selected. I hope it's not like last year where you just have like the same things to select. I hope it's different varieties. Especially when it comes to Ray Young commentating. Instead of saying the same old things and saying the same two questions and saying back to you co afterwards. Put some more questions in there. Say some different things. You know, she says different things in real life. So, you know, you got to fix that. And most of all, you will learn how to address millions of fans worldwide. Do what I tell you to do or my client. Okay, so this is part of what I was talking about. So Paul said, do what you, he tells you to do or Brock Lesnar will attack you and he will hurt you. Now, that's basically what happens in real life if you're a Paul Heyman guy if you seen what happened to uh, I'm trying to think you see what happened to um, hmm. I'm trying to th it might have been CM Punk or it might have been either the Curtis Axel Ryback you didn't you know when you don't do what Paul Heyman says he comes and he attacks you or you know he turns on you it's just how it happens it's just the reality you know my client will introduce you to, to Suplex Ridley. City of let me go through it so so you see him so what i think happened during this my career i'm not for sure 100 percent uh the guy did not do exactly what paul Heyman said so paul Heyman hired brock lesnar to finish him off and get rid of him so if you beat brock lesnar does paul Heyman have respect for you if you lose to brock lesnar do you think maybe you get hurt and you go down, you know, the, go down like the card? Who knows? I'm not for sure, but I am totally 100% excited for this game. Post your comments down below. Tell me how you feel about this breakdown. If I got things right or if I did things wrong, I want to know you guys' opinion. I try my best when it comes to these breakdowns because I know you guys are expecting it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Post Reed Nation. We are out. Deuces.